Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Action Comics, issue 23.2, Zod, issue 1. Now, as you know, for Evil, Forever Evil had this event, where characters from the New 52 line had their origins revealed, like Darkseid, Black Adam, Joker, Firstborn, and so on. And the cover has General Sword showing off his laser beam in full anger. And it starts off how, as a child, General Zod was amazed by the monsters he created. His parents were meant to be scientists, saying, Perfect, you've raised them well, son. No, wait! It's been three weeks. It's time for the dissection. No, Droll Zod. He says that they're meant to be scientists, and this is for the greater good, as Krypton is expending, and they need to kind of, like, d do what they can for science. But sadly, their ship crash lands in the middle of the jungle. So, of course, one year later, sor and jor have been sent to do a sort of scouting to look for any survivors, until... They're rescued by General Zod, and is meant to have survived through the jungle for a whole year. And even says, right, we came to save you, my heroes. And so we see how General Zod has become more deluded, xenophobic, and a bit more dangerous. And saying, no mercy! And so, turns out, he's fighting in a training simulation... And pretty much gets ready to, to you know, get ready for his big presentation. And the other soldiers do joke about him in that. And General Sword says, And the warriors of the car look more like lizards, actually. And so he pretty much knows that they joke about him. And General Sword looks on, thinking how Krypton's become weaker. And we're even shown how... At the House of L, how there's a big celebration of a peace treaty between Krypton and the Char race. And you can tell Zorel is meant to see a lot of potential in Zod, and sort of meant to kind of see that Zod is meant to be this good person when he clearly isn't. So, of course, Zorel shows that the island where they rescued Zod had been quarantined and destroyed. But they managed to rescue one race, which proves to be Zorel's biggest mistake. So, of course, Zod, Fira, and Non break into the area and release the creation Zod left. And General Zod is m pretty much managed to manipulate and trick everyone into believing that. This thing was a child creature and said, So I think the enemy Krypton has awakened, and I swear to you c civilians, General Zod will make your soldiers once again. And so they're quick to follow Zod. And it's even shown that Zod even sends an army of drones to destroy most of the child race. Showing how xenophobia and as well as racism has corrupted him. So of course Jorel has seen for well what's happened. And even it's revealed that since Candle was lost, him and Jorel and Zorel don't talk. And even Jorel's found out what Zod's done and been placed under investigation. So of course after the, Crypt the Kryptonians and the Char race hear what jor has to say, turns out Zod did this as a way to kind of get them back at war. And of course, General Zod gets sent back to the Phantom Zone. And says, No matter what you do, no matter where you send me, I promise you this. I will always be your monster. And of course gets sent away. And you can tell Zoro realised his mistake in trusting General Zod. And believes he saw a lot of himself in him. And it's even revealed in a flashback how Zod's mum got killed. And General Zod 
sacrificed his own father just to save his own sorry skin. So of course they see Superman from the from the outside of Phantom Zone and plan to take on Superman when the time comes. And yeah, this is the story. So issue one of General Zod is actually readable. It gives you a glimpse of what Zod's like, but I kind of feel we could have had more time with him being trained at the military, shown him with his first love, shown him to kind of believe himself to be superior, but the story does kind of give you a slice of what half the story is. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.